and welcome back to Kelly's Rant and today we're going to talk about middle class Indians. Middle class Indians have a lot of peculiar qualities and I am one of them and I'm damn proud of them. Let's start with our middle class Indian mothers. Our mothers can tolerate anything. Don't come home late, don't pass your exam, don't finish your food, start a war, they don't care. But if you don't bring home back their Tupperware, they will freak out on you. Even if you promise to buy them a bulk of new Tupperware, they don't care. It's the principle. You are lazy, you didn't bring back home the Tupperware. Now maybe you're waiting for me to explain this. But let me tell you, I don't know how to explain this. They're just weird about this. As you can see, I'm traveling. Data roaming doesn't apply to me. When I get out of the country, I am not switching on data roaming. We don't understand why we have to be charged so much of money for stepping out of the country. We can stay in the crappiest hotel as long as they have Wi-Fi. Let me tell you a true story. Last month, I went to Malaysia and I switched on my mobile data for just 5 minutes. My bill was $400. Where did I step into? Space? To say that I had a heart attack is an understatement. As you can see, I'm in a hotel room right now. I bet if I open up my family's luggage, I can find the shower cap, shower, the shampoo, the body wash, conditioner, sewing kit, sanitary pad. I have to stop my mother from putting the bathroom and the towel into her bag and to tell her that it's we can't just take it. Middle class Indians, when we travel a lot, we go to different hotels, we will take all these things and put it in our house. It's not that we're going to use it or it's not that we can't afford it. It's just that it's for us anyways, we might as well take it and bring it back home. We value things that's given to us. We will keep it till we die. In a middle class family, it's okay if you're not coming home by midnight. It's okay if you're staying over at your friend's place. But if you don't call your mother and tell her that you won't be home for dinner, you are in so much of trouble. It's World War all over again. They will threaten not to cook for you ever again just because you missed a phone call. If things break at home, we always repair it by ourselves. We don't call a handyman at the drop of a hat. For example, if the shower heater breaks, we will spend four days repairing it. The fact that we are going to be showering in cold water doesn't even bother us. Most of the time, we actually make it worse. Only on day 5th do we even consider the possibility of calling somebody to come to our house and we pay them and they fix it. When middle class Indians go to a restaurant, there is one page which is usually the final page in the menu that you never look at. It's the desserts page. For the price of a scoop of ice cream, a scoop, it better be giving me superhero powers. There was one time that I actually ordered dessert and they gave me 3 scoops of ice cream. That 3 scoop was $13. It was more expensive than my entire meal. None of our baby clothes or teenage clothes will ever get thrown. Somehow or other, it will be reused. Most of the time, it's used to give a relative who has just had a new baby or has a teenager at the house. There are times I walk into the kitchen and I look down and I see a mat which looks very familiar. It's an old skirt of mine. It's not that uncommon that sometimes my sleeve of a t-shirt has become a rag. I have friends who take different insurance policies or have a lot of financial advisors. But for middle class Indians like us, one insurance is enough. In fact, one insurance for the entire family is good enough. If we know that if we die, our family will get money. That's good enough for us. We are set for life. We don't need 10 financial advisors or a folder dedicated for insurance policies. Calling yourself middle class has nothing to do with money. It's all about the mindset. We value money and we spend less time relying on other people. We like to do things ourselves. If you understand what I'm talking about, give this page a thumbs up and make sure to share this with your friends as well. And I'll see you guys with more videos. Bye!